Well, I started out working for the LA Galaxy back in 1996, and from then it was kind of a right place, right time opportunity. I, I uh, was doing production pieces for the Galaxy game production, and then had an opportunity at Cal State Fullerton where they needed an announcer. I didn't even ask to do it. They just pointed at me and said, you do it, go. And I don't think it was about my voice. I don't think it was about anything other than they needed someone to do it and I was available. So, but I did, I guess, a good enough job because from then on, everybody, or every time we had a game at Fullerton, I was the one they had to do it. And then in 2002, I had actually stepped away and said I'm done. I was focusing on my career teaching and, and I was at one game and our announcer uh, got a job with the Dallas Cowboys and he up and moved to Dallas. So they called me and said, hey, can you fill in for him? And I said, I'd love to. And I did the one game and thought I need to call them and see if I can finish out the season. And they called me on Monday and said, can you finish out the season? Uh, uh, this is going to sound like a Homer answer, and but I don't see why they can't go all the way and win the MLS Cup. They're playing so well the, uh, with Landon and Robbie Keane, Jossie Zardes stepping up, Alan Gordon having come in, and he's being you know a late uh, end of the game game changer, goal scorer. So a lot of the pieces in the defense has always you know been solid. So I think a lot of the pieces are there. I don't see why we couldn't win it all. I, he's playing like a man on a mission. I, the only thing I can figure is I think he wants to go out on top and, and so he's giving his all. Not that he, he doesn't, but I think he's got that little extra piece of motivation. Uh, maybe not unlike David Beckham when, when he was retiring. Uh, who, who doesn't want to go out a champion? And, and if there's anyone who's been the face of U.S. soccer, uh, I'd, I'd say Landon deserves that opportunity to go out as a champion. It, it's actually, it, it's an interesting situation because I, I would have to say it was Landon breaking the record this year. And I actually had a conflict where there was an Angel game and a Galaxy game and my schedule is such that I have to, by February, I pretty much know in September if I'm working a Galaxy or an Angel game. And so it, it so happened that that day I was working the Angel game. But it was a day game. Galaxy was a, a late afternoon evening game. So there was no way to do both. But when the Angel game ended, I actually went over to StubHub Center to watch the game. And I'm glad I did because I actually had the opportunity to see him score the, uh, the record-breaking goal. And I wasn't working. I was, I was a fan. So while I didn't get to announce his record-breaking goal, it was almost a better experience because I got to be there as a fan, which uh, was unique for me.